Hi, and welcome to the vertical bar graph customization tutorial. Let's get started by going to our project panel, go to the all graphs folder, and we're going to look for the vertical bar graph up to 20 data sets folder. And we'll double click to open our render comp. And this is a composition that you can actually render out um, on its own. If you wanted to make a movie with just this graph, you can do that here. To give you an overview of the render comp, we have uh, in the timeline, we have a camera, which is animated. And we have two text layers, which are our main text areas. And these can be changed here. If you double click on that text layer, it becomes editable when it's highlighted. And you can type your text. You can change the font, the color, and the size in our character panel. And uh, for this particular text uh, layer, sorry, we have uh, the all caps option selected. You can deselect that. You have to have your text layer selected. Deselect that, and the text will revert to whatever formatting you originally had when you typed in your text. So we're going to keep that all caps. And we have our bar graph data actually pre-comped into this composition. And we have two layers. The first layer um, is actually our pre-comp and it plays out. Then our second layer uh, plays the comp backwards. So it looks like the, well, it's the animating backwards. And that's how we kind of animate out and kind of close the animation in uh, the preview. So let's start customizing this bar graph. You can double click on the enter bar graph data uh, layer, which is a pre-comp to open that composition up. You can also um, get to it in the project panel. In the vertical bar graph folder, you have your uh, enter data comp right there. This comp actually has data that is animated. So the first thing we want to do is go to our enter data here layer. And if you open up your effects controls, you'll see um, a lot of different options. Uh, you'll have our bar data sliders, and you'll have our maximum value. And this can also be a change to whatever you like. So if we like, change it to 500, this will change our maximum value number up here in the corner. And it will dynamically uh, rescale all of the bars as well. Now, as you saw in the preview, you can also do um, negative values, which is nice. So you can choose either one. Uh, and if we want to change our data, let's go to the inner data here layer and hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And to change this data, uh, since it is animated, you want to change the second keyframe of each bar data uh, control. So we're going to double click on that second keyframe for bar data 01 and we're just going to enter 450. And there we go. And you would repeat that for all of the bars. If we go to our bar and number colors, we can change our text and symbol color with one click. And you can change each bar color as well with the color picker. If we go to our next controller, it's bar width, spacing, symbol, and size. So you can change the width of the bars. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can change the spacing between the bars, so you can spread them out or make them closer together. You can also change the number size. Well, it's a little too big, but you get the point. And you can also change the prefix or the suffix. You can turn the prefix and suffix off, or you can have them both on. And if you would like to change the prefix or the suffix, we have these layers um, titled type suffix here. If you double click that, you can change that text layer. And after you change one of these layers, either the suffix or the prefix, it will change the rest of the layers as well. So you have an M and the rest of the uh, suffix uh, symbols or numbers are changed also. Now, as you can see, we're gonna zoom in here text layer is wider because there's three numbers. So um, if you select the prefix or the suffix and then use your arrow keys, you can adjust the spacing and the placement of those as well. 
Next, we can turn on or off any of these bars. And so as you can see, we have uh, up to 20 bars, so you can actually turn on all of them if you like. If you wanna go back to the spacing, you can, oh, you can see all of them. So you have a lot of options for um, choosing how many bars you want, how big they are, how wide they are, the colors. And if you um, scroll all the way down to the bottom layer of this timeline, you'll see our graph controls uh, layer. And if you twirl that open, it's actually a shape layer and it creates a graph uh, that's behind the bars. And this can be customized however you like. You can turn on the grid lines, you can control the spacing, you can control um, the color of the grid as well. So there's just a few more options for you and you can use any of the effects controls to uh, change those as well.